Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today I have a very unconventional video. Today nothing is going to be blowing up or shooting or tasing or anything, but instead this is a Christmas or a Valentine's little gift you can make for your significant other, and I just thought I'd show you it because it's pretty cool. So what you're going to need for this is a candle of your choice. I have gingerbread here. It's already in pieces, but I'll explain that in a second. Um, you're going to need some tin foil, a knife, and of course whatever you're going to be putting inside your candle. And so here I have a little ring. Now basically where I got this idea from is this thing called Scenty Candles, or I can't remember, but whatever. It's this thing you can buy them. They're like $50 or... They're pretty expensive, I know that much. And there's a ring or jewelry hidden inside of a candle. But what if you don't like the ring hidden inside or you don't have that much money to spend? Well, you can do it yourself and I'm going to show you how. So first, as you can see, I have already done it. But you are going to want to remove the candle from the glass container. It has to be one inside of a glass container. Now, how I did this is I got the regular candle like this and in my sink over here, I put it just inside of a Tupperware container as you see here and then ran hot water on top of it to loosen it up and then took it over to this separate container, opened it up, took a knife, ran the knife along the side of it and kind of pried it out and now we have just the wax. Now for the hidden surprise what you're going to do is take a little square of tin foil like this make it big enough to make sure you can cover up your entire surprise. Uh, my case is a little silver ring, but not too big or else you can see it too easily. So something like that should do perfectly. Make sure it's all sealed so you don't get wax all over your piece of jewelry or little gift or whatever you want really. Heck, it could be food or candy or whatever. So that's what we're going to be hiding in the bottom of the wax. Now, to get our thing in there, um, there's probably different ways to do it, but I am going to just melt the entire wax and then pour it back in the glass container and wait for it to cool. So to do that, I got myself a little pan here. There might be safer, easier ways to do this, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I turned it on, and basically we're gonna start by putting the candle in the dish. But as you can see on the bottom, there's the wick. So once it melts enough, I'm gonna hopefully pull that wick out and then just keep the candle melting. As you can see, it melts just like butter. Keep the candle melting until it's just a liquid. So here we are boiling the wax away. I'm doing it about medium heat so I don't burn my apartment down. And those bo boiling parts there, I believe are water. So try not to get water in there because if it splashed hot wax on you, it's gonna hurt. So I'll keep you updated. Hopefully I don't burn my place down. Our candle is now pretty much entirely boiled and I've taken out the wick that looks just like this. Okay, so the candle is fully done boiling and as you can see it's very hot so be sure not to spill this on yourself. So there's my molten candle. Now first I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup with a nice little spout um, for easy pouring into my cup, I mean my, my glass candle. There it is, molten candle. I'm gonna pour it inside the glass dish now. And so now let's just wait. And once that partially cools, I am going to be putting the wick back in. And as you can see, it's very hot by the way. I put my tin foil right at the bottom of the glass container. So it's been around half an hour and right now the candle wax, I'll show you by poking it once or twice, is kind of like this gelatin substance. So it's not fully dry yet, but what I just did is I just put the wick back in just by pushing it down because now that it's a little more solidified, it should stay upright. 
So I'll give it a few more hours and then show you the final product. All right, everyone, so here it is, the final product. This is a, probably about four hours later. Um, it sat a little funny just because it got a little separated, but there it is, it's all hard now. Went back to the white instead of clear. And at the bottom, you can see the piece of tin foil with the special surprise in it. Barely visible from the top, but you can see it at the bottom there. So that's just a little present that I made for my girlfriend this Christmas, but anyone can do it for their significant other and it costs a lot less than the one you buy online and although you might not get a very expensive ring or jewelry or whatever you can put whatever you want in it and it's kind of fun so uh thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed the video and as always please like comment and subscribe